Every year, tens of thousands of tourists flock to Germany, especially during Oktoberfest, the country's largest beer festival. World. German beer is an integral part of the nation's culture, with the average German consuming about 91.8 liters annually. Germany is also the birthplace of over 5,000 renowned beer brands enjoyed worldwide. Today, let's join Captain Discovery to learn more about the process of making German beer and the fascinating story behind this beloved beverage. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Captain Discovery to dive into fascinating processes from around the world. The brewing tradition can be traced back to about 800 BC, with evidence of beer production by the Celts and Germanic tribes. By the Middle Ages, monasteries became the centers of brewing, with monks perfecting the craft and brewing beer as part of their daily sustenance and religious rites. A pivotal moment in German beer history occurred in 1516, with the enactment of the Rheinheitsgebot, or the German Beer Purity Law by the Bavarian Duke Wilhelm IV. This law mandated that beer could only be brewed using four ingredients, water, barley, hops, and yeast later. This decree ensured the quality and purity of German beer, laying the foundation for its global reputation. Today, Germany boasts over 1,300 breweries producing a diverse array of beer styles, including popular types like Pilsner and Weissbier, as well as regional specialties like Kolsch and Altsbier. The craft beer movement has also flourished, with small breweries innovating while honoring traditional methods. The journey of beer begins with malting where barley grains are soaked to germinate and convert starches into fermentable sugars. This process is halted by kiln drying, producing malt that gives beer its color and flavor. The malt is then ground into grist and mixed with hot water in a process called mashing. This mixture, known as mash, undergoes enzymatic activity to break down the starches into simpler sugars. The resulting liquid, called wort, is separated from the grain husks. The wort is boiled and hops are added. Hops contribute bitterness, aroma, and act as a natural preservative. The boiling process sterilizes the wort, evaporates undesirable compounds, and ensures proper mixing of ingredients. And now is the Captain Discovery's daily quiz about German beer. When does the Oktoberfest take place? The answer will be revealed at the end of the video. Stay tuned! After boiling, the wort is cooled and transferred to a fermentation vessel where yeast is added. Yeast ferments the sugars, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide. 
This stage lasts from several days to weeks, depending on the beer type. Following fermentation, the beer is matured to develop its full flavor profile. During this period, which can range from a few weeks to several months, unwanted compounds settle and the flavors meld. The beer is then filtered to remove any remaining solids. Beer testing ensures quality by evaluating its appearance, aroma, flavor, and feel. Chemical tests measure alcohol content, bitterness, pH level, and color. These steps guarantee each batch meets high standards before reaching consumers. Finally, the beer is carbonated and packaged into bottles, cans, or kegs, ready for consumption, each with its own advantages and drawbacks regarding protection, weight, and environmental impact. Proper packaging is vital for maintaining beer quality, appealing to consumers, and meeting regulatory requirements. And now here's the answer for the question about when does the Oktoberfest take place? The answer is the first weekend in October. It is the world's largest beer festival and a significant cultural event held annually in Munich, Germany. Only beer brewed within the city limits of Munich and conforming to the German beer purity law can be served at Oktoberfest. Interesting, right? It's a slap-happy world of lederhosen that is the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Captain Discovery to find more interesting things around the world.